now I will be tracing the sewing allowances. I've inserted the colored tracing paper and now I will run the tracing wheel along the edge of our hemline. We can check if we have marked the sewing lines. Now I'm tracing the sewing line of the side seam. You can actually mark the waistline this way. Now we can trace the armhole. Then we can trace the shoulder line and the neckline. Make sure that uh, you trace the sewing lines. The shoulder line of the facing. Now we can trace the line of the facing allowance and the line of the center front. But we can just trace them portion by portion. We can transfer our pin here so that we'll have an easier time tracing the center front line and the line of the facing allowance. Okay. It's important to trace the edge of the lines. Okay. We have finished tracing the sewing lines of the front bodies of the blouse. Actually, before removing the pin, you can check if you have traced all the sewing lines that you need to trace. Okay? Now, I will be tracing the hemline of the back bodies. Now I am tracing the side seam sewing lines. Now I will be tracing the armhole curve. Now I will be tracing the shoulder line and the neckline. For the center of the neckline, we can cut a notch. We have completed tracing the sewing lines of the back bodies of the blouse. Okay, we start tracing the sewing lines for the sleeve. On the hemline of the sleeve, we can just trace the start, the center, and the other end. Then the sewing lines on the sleeve. We can also just trace this segment by segment. As this will just be folded. Then for the side seams, we have to trace the sewing lines. And of course, we have to trace the cap line of the sleeve. You can actually mark the center of the sleeve this way, just with a little line, and then continue tracing the cup line.
before removing the pins, make sure that uh, we have traced the cap line completely. Just so you don't get confused which is the front and the back of the sleeve, just mark the front anywhere. You can mark it here or here. But this mark is just to make sure you know where the front side of the sleeve is. These markings will not be used when we attach the sleeve to the armhole. Now we will be tracing the sewing lines of the collar. We can cut a notch here or mark it with our colored tracing paper. Make sure because that notch may disappear when we start the cutting. We can just mark it this way, the center. We have completed tracing the sewing lines for our collars. 